Okay, welcome. I'm Ruben Covington, and we're back with round t uh, with round number two of our custom magic set draft. This is Dreamscape, my custom magic set. I'm playing with Caliber Death. We just played our first game where I got handily crushed, and we're into <laughs> about to start game two. Okay, here we go. So I'm gonna go first, and draw hopefully we get a better opening hand. Oh my! This is a interesting opening hand. I don't think it's a particularly good one. I'm gonna mull. I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep this and. Probably, probably a bad idea. It's interesting. Okay. Um. Just check, deciding whether to scry this to the top or bottom. Uh, this is actually kind of awkward. I think I'd prefer something else. I can go to the bottom line. Okay, uh, so how do we want to do this? We will start with a slumbering vault, pulling myself a one. And pass to you. <sighs> So do you win the first game, I assume? Uh, as in, so uh, sorry, your first match? Oh no, no. Okay. I, I didn't. Uh, that was I was versus Navaria, who had the uh, four of the travelers preparation. Okay, and... travel preps, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm gonna play another second land. And uh, we're going to go with Tap 2 and Premonition Foretold Pack. This is uh, part of a cycle of Foretold cards at Uncommon. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, Draw 2 card. And then each player loses 2 life. Very powerful. Not cards, though. Just card. Draw 2 card. Oh, oh thank you. You've uh, pointed that out. I will need to... Ah, oh, you're doing a good job here. So, Foretold. <laughs> foretold Pack. Um, draw two cards. There we go. For next time. Uh, so yep, that's below the top three cards, and then I'm just going to end that turn. Mm. Alright. There we have it, Spark Weaver. Yep, yeah, another powerful prowess card. 2-1 prowl, so when we cast a non-creature spell, target creature can't block until the turn. Nasty. This is interesting, you're playing red-black prowess, when yeah. prowess is kind of designed to be red-white in this set. <laughs> yeah. I really find it strange that prowess is red-white in this set, since white, since cons, I mean, it can still get prowess, but it's... Yeah, well, church, well, well uh, the set's designed to be a little bit different. Alright, fair enough. And, uh, you know, it's definitely not. It's a bend, but it's not a break. Sure. Uh, and also, just, yeah, it fit. Because I've already got red blue doing, like, premonition stuff, yeah. etc. And it's just that I needed something extra for white, so it's just kind of how the cookie crumbled in the end. Um, <laughs> so we're going to play Entwiner Amulet for free. This is a card I don't think is particularly strong, but uh, I need to test it, so. It's uh, going in the deck. Alright. And uh, I'm going to tap 3 and play one of my favourite cards, Soul Grasp Priestess. This is a 1-1 one, one Menace for 2 and a black, that whenever another creature dies, you may put a plus 1 plus 1 card on her. And uh, yeah, we're going to end the turn there. Right. But yeah, I really like how Menace works when as it grows bigger, so... She builds up very. Ooh. She's very nasty as she builds up. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna play Entwiner Elite. Oh god, okay. Entwiner Elite, yep, so this is the 2-2 uh, two -two prowess again, the rare. And. I'm gonna stick. No attack? Okay. Being greedy. 
Okay, we're going to play the Swamp. Oh, sorry, I need to remove the counter from Foothold Pact. And uh, we'll just go with a Dread Amalgamation. Nice. nice fatty blocker. And in the turn. I really like this card. Uh, all right. Cultist dagger. Yep. So this is the one mana. Oh, oh, right. You, it's a prowess. Oh, okay. This is bad. Yet, yeah, so my dread Commission can't block this turn. Oh, okay. And I will equip the cultist dagger to. To the spark me spark weaver? Okay. So I'm getting hit for seven. Sheesh. Swing for seven. Okay. Take it. Uh, yep, uh, I take seven and uh the cold stagger gives life link and therefore you gain four. And Token. Yep. Wait. What is this? Um, so we're down oh, here. that doesn't work. Create another token. Creates a one of the last kind you made. Yep. <laughs> and pass. There you go. Okay. Oh, and I got my coffee now. Um, oh, excellent. Yeah, coffee. What time is it for you there? It's uh, 2 p.m. Uh -huh. Okay, so uh, foretold pack triggers. So we both draw two cards, and that's uh, so I draw two cards, and then you, we both lose two life. Oh no, down to 22. Oh no, down to 11. <laughs> Not so good. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to play Slumbering Vault to mill myself a one. Okay. Um, hmm. Interesting. How do I do this? Uh, I guess... I kind of regret not doing this earlier. Uh, I guess I just, in the, t oh, no, or do I attack? No, neither of you guys have Dreamwalk. I do not attack. I, in the turn. Um... No. Mm -hmm. Oh. I've forgotten to lose life from the... Wait, no, I played it No, last no, time. You, you lost life. Oh, 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 right, as in, sorry, you lose life from the Cultist Dagger, yes. So at the beginning of your yeah. keep, you lose one life. Yes, that's correct. Okay. So 21 to 11. More is choosing. Okay, so this is the free one Dreamwalk. I'm going to actually just bring up a picture so that people can see it. Um... <clears throat> Here we go. So, for those who are interested, so this is the card he's playing, Morai's Chosen. This is a uh, free one. Actually, I'll see if I can just. Uh, see if I can change the image and file name and have that. Feel there like we go. Aha, I got it. I just put an apostrophe in the image file name and it worked. Uh, I, I did that um, with something. I like before, but it didn't work. So I don't know what the issue was that. I think it was. Anyway, that's okay. Uh, so, wait, no attacks? Yeah, no attacks. No attacks? Okay. Uh, at the end of the turn, I'm gonna flash in my Kirin. As you probably expected. Hmm. 
Hmm. Um. Question is, do I like? Am I dead if I don't use this? Uh, <laughs> this is pretty bad for me, but yeah. Yeah, wipe. Um, I'm gonna tap four. Oh, sorry, five. Five. And play prophetic tutor. Ah. So we're gonna go view a library, grab a card, grab this card. So for yep, grab this card, and hope we don't die this turn. <laughs> So you lose one life? Right. Okay, let's see what we can do. Lindy's dramatics, which I think yep, is a so discard a card. Yes, two. so it's instance, it's two and a red for, yeah, discard a card, draw two cards. And, uh, Here we go. I can min these dramatics. There we go. Uh, so my dread amalgamation can't block. Yep. Sure. Then okay, and so I'll let them get this, this one. This is bad. Then. Shadowy blessing on <laughs> Do you realize these are instants, right? <laughs> iridescent kit block. It doesn't matter. Sh oh, right, because you. Oh, okay. You want to get the blockers out of the way before. Yeah, okay. Okay. Fair enough. So this is. Uh, so against lifelink and regenerates it. Yep. Oh, boy. Yeah. Uh, I did the wrong move. <laughs> attack. And I think it's impossible for you to block so it to win. I blocked that, I still take 11. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Damn it. <laughs> Obviously, I had the uh, board wipe in hand, and I should have board yeah, wiped last, yeah. last turn. Um, oh, you. Oh, you had it in hand last turn. Yes. <laughs> oh. It was very awkward because it was like, that's like a free for free or whatever. And it's like, <laughs> uh, f yeah, well, like, yeah, it's like, but it would have made all your tricks like completely negated. Um, yeah. Uh, I mean, I had ways to recover. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, I'm just dead. Wow. That was a very quick game. It's thanks to the, um, so... Uh, yeah, so and, uh, the card that I tooted up was this. Uh, that's invisible, but I know it's a planeswalker. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> when it enters, the it's 2GG, uh, 3 loyalty. When it enters, but it's 2-2 two, two legendary wolf. Uh, <clears throat> okay, this is cool. Uh, dang. Yep, so it gives... Oh, I can, oh, there we go. Yep, yep. Alright. Yeah, so that I would have been. I could have. Yeah, so I was going to start like just having like dreaded amalgamation fight stuff and kill them. And, but like mm. I was always one turn too slow. Um, you should have board wiped and then search for it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I should have not flashed in my Kieran, board wiped, and then. But I didn't know I was going to be drawing the lands, right? So as in like. Mm. Yeah, as in, okay. it, I was in a very awkward spot because it's like, if I draw the lands, like, yeah. And anyway, Entwine Around Miller was just useless. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the cards, not good. I remember you talking about how it was really bad. Why did you play it? Because I, because I changed it, so I need to test it. Oh. As in, uh, what was I need the change. Uh, so it used to be a one cost, and it just gave Dreamwalk. 
Oh, okay. So now it's zero cost, so it's a lot more attractive to both prowess decks and also new players, because new players love zero cost artifacts, and uh, it now gives plus one attack, just so it's a little more... Uh, a little more... Uh, a, just not quite as bad. <laughs> as in, because it, yeah. you don't want Dreamwalk to feel bad. Like, I want the card to be bad, but I don't want it to... I want people to blame it on, like, the high cost or whatever. Um, <laughs> because I can't have this be a low equip cost, because the board complexity gets insane. Because it used to be the opposite way around. It used to be three cost and then one to equip or whatever. And mm -hmm. it was literally like, okay, so I'm gonna like, I can make any of my creatures board like Dreamwalk at any time and just like completely stuff up your combat math and like, you have no idea which creatures you want to tap down or untap or yeah, it's it it was it was dumb. <laughs> so it's got to have a higher equip cost, uh, and I want to have it there because I want if you've got this new you know combat keyword, you want to have a way to give it to things that don't normally have it so that you can play around with how it affects other cards. Um, sure, yeah. Yeah. And so, yeah, I don't mind the ca card being bad, but I need it there. It does have a purpose. Um, uh, well, this was what was in my hand. Oh, Recurrent Betrayal? That card is bomby as hell. I was really tempted to pick that uh, early on in the draft. I got two! Oh! So, uh, Recurrent Betrayal, for those who didn't watch the draft video, uh, is a uh, 4 and a red for a sorcery to gain control of target creature until on the turn, untap that creature against haste. Um, you may put... Uh, you may... Oh, I need to... Uh, it's... Uh, <laughs> the wording screwed. Uh, you may put Recurrent Betrayal into your library face up just beneath the top three cards. And it's got premonition. I didn't know. Uh, for free for two and a red. And so you can basically every three turns you get a act of treason. It's pretty good. <laughs> yeah. Uh it, it almost won me one of my games versus uh That's another yeah, card I need to play Evaria. Yep. Uh, so that's recurrent betrayal. Uh you may put to your library. And I, I can barely read it. It's it's eight lines. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it, it's uh, the formatting's a bit stuffed up. I'm going to put it in the improved uh, improved template, and it should make it look a lot nicer. Oh, the problem is it says pay put. Yeah, okay. that, exactly, exactly. Yeah. Um, if I remove that, it like looks a lot nicer. I'll, I'll uh, print you out an image. Anyway, I'm going to stop the video here. Thanks guys for watching, and uh, we'll be back for round three.